Hello everyone, it's John, or you know me better as Lunch Path. I'm just going to cover really quick what my Arc Survival Ascended uh, script is doing, and just to give it more of a better understanding and how, how to execute this and run it and make things work for your environment. So, what I have here is a read host, it's just for the Steam CMD path. Um, this is just a read host, this is what gets the data for the variable that will be used to install Steam CMD. <coughs> And where you see any place where it says read host, that is just pulling the data that you want, or the variable that you want to have it install, whatever path you want it to be. So for example, we don't have to have this. We could just do like C testing. And then if I run this, you're going to see it's going to go ahead and install it. So it's been downloaded and, and it, it's extracted. You can ignore this. I uh, ran this twice now, just, uh, just to test it. So that is good to go. I'm going to go into camps all of that. We're going to go ahead and back up out of that. Say, or leave that as is. And then if we come down here, you'll see it's been unzipped and steamcmd.exe does exist. And the testing folder. So that is what that's doing. That's how your read host variables work. When it read hosts, it doesn't input any of this data. It just puts whatever you, whatever the response is from, from you. And then it saves that variable within this here. So if I actually run this, well, oh, uh, yeah, let's just do this. If we type in Steam CMD path, you're going to see it's that C testing. So this is just doing the logic, uh, really nothing special here, just, you know, testing or creating the uh, variable Steam CMD executable, which is here, and then that's being called down here. So it's doing some if logic checking. And if if it's installed already, it'll tell you. Otherwise, it will go ahead and pull Steam CMD and then uh, unzip it, and then you'll get this the Steam or Steam executable <coughs> for Steam CMD. Going farther down, we have to start back content. This is this what you whatever you want your parameters to be for your server. So here, this is just an example right here. This is an example. This isn't what's actually going to go in. There. Well, it is what. If you want it to, it's going to follow this type of structure ship. So like start arc ascended server.exe, the island WP, this is just the map, listen, whatever you want your server name to be, the at, quit jumping on me, the admin password, the uh, port, the query port, and the maximum amount of players, and then if you want to use battle eye or not. You can do no battle eye if you don't want battle eye, or you can use battle eye if you do. So when you get this pop up and it's asking you what do you want you need to follow something like this now you can do it however you want I but you, it needs to be in that type of format <clears throat> and then the install path this is this where you're going to actually install the arc server uh, if test path it, this is just doing the logic checking so if it already exists it's not gonna it's gonna just update the server if it does not exist it will actually install the server so if it does not exist it, if it already exists, you can still run this this script here, and it will update your server for you. And then this is this is in, some join paths for the bat file, so that it creates the dart start dot bat with the information that you had passed through in that variable. Uh, and then okay, then it's pulling the Steam CMD. It's doing the install directory. So yeah, this here is where it's doing the install of the Arc server. So, uh, or getting the variable set up for that. And then down here, you're actually doing the install. And then, yeah, that is about it. That's what it's doing. And then once it's done, it'll tell you that it's done. And then, of course, you'll get these uh, write host commands that allow you to, or tell you how, to, how you can start the server. So we're going to go ahead and do this really quick. This uh, the super fast. Uh, we're going to go in and delete the testing folder. And then we're going to go and we'll just run from scratch. Okay, so where do you want to install it? We're going to say C testing. Great. Now it's been downloaded and extracted. So now we're going to go ahead and do the same, or not this. For this path, what we're going to do is I'm going to just grab this here. And then paste that in. I'm going to edit it though. So let's say I want it 70 players. I'm going to go ahead and change that to 70. The admin password, we're just going to say I am admin. 
And then for the server name, we're going to put um, Arc Survival Rates 10x. If you want it to do like a 10x server, you can do something like that. Um, cool. And then that's it. So that that's all I would need. I am going to go ahead and just hit run. So now that variable for the start.bat is saved, stored. We're good to go. And then I'm going to enter the path of where I want to install. So we'll just say C testing, uh, arch server, arch servers. Cool. So now it's going to go ahead and start running all that. It's created the variables and it's created the directory information. This is going to take some time, but if we go into that folder, we'll start to see things loading in. Yeah. So here goes your art or here goes your Steam CMD information. And by default, it normally stores it in a server folder underneath Steam CMD if you don't specify, but we have that variable in place so that we can specify. And here we go. So it is actually loading it in, as you can tell. We're getting things. There goes the start.bat file that exists. And, you know, after about maybe 5, 15 minutes, it would install and we'd be good to go. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, you can message me or you can get with me in the Discord and we can talk about it. Or if you have any suggestions or ideas that you would like to see, let me know and I can see if it's something I can implement.